Hello and welcome to the 2017 World Para Snowboard Championships. We've got the bank slalom going down today here at beautiful Big White Ski Resort in Kelowna, British Columbia. Our competitors get three runs down the course and the fastest elapsed time wins the World Championship. We're gonna show you the best of the best runs. May the fastest snowboarder win. The weather today is minus 10, cold and clear with perfect visibility, just ideal for going fast. They've got a TELUS Park crew here, run by snowboarders, by snowboarders, and know how to build good jumps and good berms. Hats off to them for creating a great race here for our competitors. We've got our competitors from all over the world representing every nation that has snow, and they have been training hard for this, the World Championships, here at beautiful Big White Ski Resort in Kelowna, British Columbia. We are ready for our men's lower limb two, bank slalom. Beautiful looking day, great visibility, minus 10, perfect for conditions for going fast. In the gate on his second run, Alex Massey, known as Bubs. He's won bronze in the Adaptive X Games, he's won silver, he knows how to go fast. From Barrie, Ontario. He's a big man, very strong. This guy's momentum going very well here. Working the flow down this course. It's a little bit steeper than the rest of the course, so it's a little bit choppier. But he's handling it no problem. Nice clean turns. You don't see much of a spray of snow. The bigger the spray, oh, hit a little hole there. Staying powerful. The more of a spray of snow that you see is more of a loss of speed. Pumping these rollers, pushing down the backside of these rollers for extra speed. Hitting that corner fast, the big man. Railing, got the momentum going. Working these turns very nicely. The cleaner the turn, the less speed you lose. You want a nice clean carve. He's solid on his feet. There's a lot of turns here. It's a, it's a total leg burner. And across the line, Alex Massey. Looks like he has a good fast time there. Good job, bubs. Here's a nice replay of Bubs working it through the upper section. A few holes in there, but he's just using his legs like suspension and hammering on through. Look at the speed he's got here in the midsection, letting that board roll. And across the line with good momentum, Alex Massey. Next up at the top of the course, we have John Leslie. Born in Winnipeg, 24 years old, on Canadian National Paralympic team. Let's see how he does in this top section. Very technical. You have to fight for balance through these little holes and ruts that form. But he's looking smooth. Nice carved toe turn there. Carving his heel turns. Looking good. He's finished 8th, 6th, and 7th in the World Championships before. He's looking for a better result every time. A fierce competitor. Funny guy, too. Now he's got good speed coming down off the half pipe through the rollers, keeping his board flat, looking for speed. Into this turn with good speed. Good clean turns there, no spray. Another clean turn. Look, he's pouring it on now. Oh, sweet turn. John Leslie just railing it up through this midsection. Staying low and powerful. He's looking good. Working that rut. Slingshotting out of it. Solid on his board and across the line, John Leslie. Good job, John. Woo. Trains under Mark Fawcett, head coach. Here he is out of the start. Letting his speed build quite early. Pumping the rollers, doing everything that it takes. These riders are not holding back because this is the world's. Look at this clean turn. No spray whatsoever. Boom. Nice riding by John Leslie. Next up in the gate, Evan Strong from the USA. Three years old, born in San Francisco. Rides in Nevada City, California. Flying the Stars and Stripes there. 
Getting up to speed and working those walls out nice and wide, slingshotting out of them. Fighting for balance, getting back down to a low position. Nice riding. Using a hand-built Swiss board called a Kessler. Very popular with the racers. Going tight there against the gate. Went around the gate though, so he's not disqualified. That's a tight line. With a lot of speed built up for these rollers. Working the other side of the course on the right side, rider's right. Fading to the middle. Sitting up wide for this turn. Nice clean turn. He is hauling. Nice work. No spray there in that turn. Again, no spray. Letting the speed build. A clean carved turn. Very nice. He's got that number one bib. Evan Strong looking awesome in the turns. Quick on his feet. Towards the finish line. Boom! Crosses the line. He's a chef as well as an athlete. He likes to wakeboard, skateboard, rock climb, cycle, and of course snowboard. Look at the nice flat base he has running out of the gate. Catching a little bit of soft snow there, a little bit of a double turn, but then he starts letting her rip. The faster it gets, the better Evan Strong is. A strong rider. Next stop in the gate. We have Maddie Sir Amari from Finland, 30 years old. He won a gold medal in the Snowboarder X Adaptive event in 2016 in Aspen, Colorado. And he shows why. Because he is shredding this course, going very quickly, up to speed quickly. And working with that momentum. Handling those bumps easily. And working the berms. Staying low and powerful. Up and over the bumps, no problem. Lots of speed for the roller section. He is flying. Pumping the rollers. Fading out to the outside left of this turn. Nice turn. A little bit of a slide on that turn. He was really flying. Again, a carb, very clean carb turn. Nice mid-sized banked berms. Lots of G-forces in there. You just... Puts you right down onto your heels almost. Nice form. Just flying. That is our fastest run yet. It looks like very, very quick. That's going to be a good, fast time for Matty Sir Hamar. <laughs> Look him out of the gate. Very low. Not holding back whatsoever, just charging, hitting the throttle wherever possible. No speed checks whatsoever. Just carving the corners. Setting out wide. A little wheelie through the finish line. Great racing by Matty Surhamari. <laughs> Next up, we've got Girumu Narita from Japan. 23 years old. From Osaka. These are the best in the world, and they are exhibiting why. Just, oh, just ripping it. That was a sweet toe turn. He's got some good rhythm. Strong, very strong racer here. Pumping, being proactive, not reactive. Staying centered over his board too. He's not leaning back when he gets slingshot out of these turns. Standing on the board. And good speed coming into this flat section. Up and over these rollers. Look how low he is. Low and aerodynamic. Catching very little wind. As little as possible. Pumping the back side of the rollers. Taking an inside tighter line in that corner. Hitting the ruts in the middle of the next corner, but not even bothering him a bit. Look at the carving he's got going on here. That's what I love to see. Bank slalom. Wicked, wicked turns. Very composed, very casual. Very strong riding by Girumu Narita. That's going to be a fast ride. Number seven on course. There's a little replay of Narita Girumu. Textbook form. They got a lot of snow in Japan, and it looks like he snowboards a lot because he's very talented. Taking that inside tight line, racer style. 
But now, up in the gate, we've got Owen Pick from Great Britain, 25 years old. Working the turns nicely. Getting into the pocket nicely. That sweet spot on the turn. The turn holds you in there, pockets you, guides you into the next turn. Very controlled style. Very casual. Making it look Owen easy. Britain, Owen Pick from Great Britain ripping this course. He's an athlete and a veteran. Now into the middle section. Up and over these rollers. He's got to stay low. Got to keep that board flat. He's doing that. He's getting a good pump on. Into that high speed middle section. Woo, they're just flying through there. Trying the high low technique on that berm. Middle middle on that berm. Following the natural ruts. Not fighting the ruts, going with them. Owen Pick is going fast. He's going to have to pour it on if he's going to catch Manny Surhamari. And he's only .4. One of a second behind. First place, just missing the gold medal. What a great run by Owen Pick. Look at him here, trying to shave milliseconds off everywhere he can. Trying to be the world champ. He's pouring it on, doing everything he can. And a great run, but just .41 short. The silver medal. Nice racing. Here's our top three right here. Garu Narita in third place with the bronze. Owen Pick getting the silver. And Matty Surhamari with the gold. Yeah, it was a tight race. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, glad to see that field is progressing so much. And we are like, let's say, top 10 is so tight. You never know who's going to win. I'm glad to stand in the middle of these two guys. So, happy day. Yeah, to see Matty's time on that set and that third one, I was like, okay, I've got some work to do. And I put down my, my fastest time today, but yeah, the guy's incredible. He's an extremely good rider. Discuss is uh, almost like half pipe. So, yes, I like Discuss, and it was really good. I'm, and I'm really happy to get this podium. We've got more great racing coming up. Stay tuned. A great day of racing here at Big White Ski Resort. Welcome back to the World Paris Snowboard Championships here at beautiful Big White. It's time for our man's lower limb one. A quick thank you to some of our sponsors, Cliff Bar, Sunripe, and Techno Alpin. In the gate, Mike Schultz from the USA. He is our gold medalist in the Adaptive X Games in motocross and snowcross. And now he's going fast on a snowboard as well. Into the technical top part, down the half pipe. All these berms were hand built for the last seven days. Hard to get snow in this one area. And Mike Schultz is ripping it. Nice rhythm, good clean turns. Losing a little bit of speed there. Now he's building speed again. Lost a little bit more speed there. That's gonna cost him a little bit. Still on his feet though, with good momentum. Into our flat, rolly middle section. Pumping the rollers. A nice card, fast turn. Up high in the berm there. A little wide, not too wide. Good technique. Just ripping it. Beautiful berms, well prepared. And Mike Schultz is going fast. This is a good run. And across the line. He's done a lot of different sports from horseback riding to dirt bike riding to snowmobiling. And he's looking solid on his board here as well. Here he is out of the start. Slingshotting out of those turns, working the walls. That's what's bank, but that's what Bank Slalom is all about, is working the walls, building up the momentum. Yeah. Nice racing by Mike Schultz. Next up, Mark Mann from the USA, from Minnesota. Another multi-sport athlete. He does wakeboarding, basketball, road cycling, mountain biking. Having a bit of a mistake. They're getting low, losing some speed on a toe turn in the upper section. Didn't go down. He's still on his feet. 
Nothing but fight from these people. They're racers through and through, trying to go fast. Mark Mann setting in, settling into a nice rhythm here. Good speed for the flat section. A little bit of a double turn there. It's going to cost him another millisecond. Ford wobbling around just ever so slightly. A little wide late in that turn, ever so slightly. Losing a bit of time now, just a little bit. Oh, he's back in his groove. Looking low and powerful. Hitting that last corner and a sprint to the finish. And across the line, Mark Mann from Minnesota. Taking his head. He's not happy with that. Here's Mark Mann out of the start. A few small mistakes. Just a few, but they add up. But great riding from Mark Mann. There's a view of our course up through the half pipe. Sweet turns. And our next racer on course, this will be Mike Alti from Uluwather, Netherlands. You can see some sprays of snow, which shows a not perfectly carved turn, a little bit of displacement, a little bit of slide. It slows you down ever so slightly. Every time you see a spray of snow, that's a few milliseconds being lost. Mike likes to weight train, keeping the body strong. A lot of G-forces in these bank turns. And Mike is obviously very strong because he handled them very nicely. All right, hello, Through the flat rolling section, welcome. pumping, setting up wide. Taking an inside tight line. Oh, get a bit sideways, a little bit wide. Back into a nice carved clean turn, getting it together. The body's burning by now. It's a long race run to the bottom. Only a couple more turns. Stay on it, Mike Alti. And he's doing that. Here comes the finish line, and he has done it. There we go. Nice racing. And nothing but smiles for him there. Here's Mike pumping the rollers. Keeping that board flat and fast. You're faster when you're on the base of your board than on the edges. Tight inside line. Hitting some soft snow on the outside. A little bit wide there. But still an overall fast flowy run. In the gate. Chris Voss from the Netherlands. 18 years old. He won three World Cups in 2016. Two snowboard crosses and a bank slalom. And he's your 2015 world champion in snowboard cross and bank slalom. Chris Voss letting her rip right away, attacking the courts, aggressively going for it, and looking for speed. Nice form. Slingshotting around these turns. He is not afraid. Another multi sport athlete. He's a wakeboarder, a surfer. He's into karting, scuba diving, windsurfing. Nice cooking as well. Well, he's cooking fast right now. Chris Voss on a great run. Out wide, really ripping this midsection. He's got a lot of speed up. This looks like to be one of our fastest runs yet. Chris Voss on a heater of a run. Nice and relaxed with these bottom turns. Letting that board run, letting it carve clean. Chris Voss with a great run. That's the fastest we've seen yet and our lower limb one. 18 year old Chris Voss, putting it together. Here he's out of the start. Watch him attack right away. Send up wide, letting the board roll. Look how casual he is here. Carving that board, no spray of snow, letting it just rip down the course. Chris Voss with a great run, that was fast. Now we've got Reinhold Shett from 
Austria, 35 years old. He's got second place in two World Cups in 2016 in Snowboard Cross. He wants a win. And what better race to win than the World Championships? Reinhold Chet picking some nice lines here. Working the walls nicely. Not any big sprays of snow. Yes, a good looking run. He's looking ahead, looking where he's going. Setting up, got good timing. Not attacking quite as fast as Chris Voss, but still looking very quick. One of the fastest three runs we've seen yet, I'm sure. Setting up wide to the outside of this turn. Good old high, low, through the bumps, no problem. Setting up high, coming down low, with a lot of momentum through those berms. He knows how to ride these berms very well. Finding the sweet spot on that one. Slingshotting out of that turn. Reinhold Chet looking to have a potential podium run here. It looks like he's gonna make it to the finish line with some good speed. And across the line, Reinhold Chet. A few small mistakes there, but otherwise, a very nice run. Out of the start. Good rhythm with Reinhold. Setting up wide in these turns. Low and aerodynamic for the finish line. Some great racing in our men's lower limb one category. And Chris Voss takes home the gold to the Netherlands. <laughs> Pretty hard. Out of the... Join the club. <laughs> The first one I thought uh, was pretty sketchy, I, I thought I couldn't do better, but the course was uh, the most fresh uh, and uh, I had a pretty fast run though. And the second run uh, I thought it was faster but it was a little bit slower um, and uh, I just threw everything on the third run and uh, that didn't happen but the first one was uh, good enough so I'm uh, very happy. Yeah. Ah, pretty pumped, pretty pumped. Uh, yeah, the border cross, um, you know, we didn't make it on the box. But uh, yeah, here today, second place. Not as good as first, but I'll take it for sure. And it was pretty hard to drive from top to bottom, and I'm so lucky that I can get to it. So, it's great, yeah, awesome. Reinhold Chet gets the bronze medal with a 116.01. Mike Schultz from the USA with a 115.81 gets the silver. Great racing, everybody, and a beautiful day to get her done. It's time for our Women's Lower Limb 2 category. A thank you to a few more of our sponsors, Rico, Autobach, and Sportcheck. In the gate, Lisa Banschoten from the Netherlands, 21 years old, from Ultrecht. This is our 2015-16 World Cup overall winner in bank slalom. So you know she knows how to go fast. And she's showing it right here. Look at her attacking those corners, out wide. Slingshotting around them, nice form. Letting her rip, hitting the pocket nicely. Keeping good speed around all these corners. Not much for sprays of snow. Very clean, very fast. Oh, a little bit of a hole there she hit. Didn't slow her down very much though. She says, live your dream in her favorite quote. Study psychology in university. But right now her psych is about going fast, pumping the rollers very nicely. This is a good run for her. She's on a heater. Oh yeah, she is flying. Great speed coming into this mid section. Moving on to the bottom section with good speed. No major mistakes. This is gonna be a good run for her. Can she keep all the speed to the finish? Yes, she can. There's the last corner. That's gonna be a fast time for Lisa Van Schoten from the Netherlands. Great riding. Watch her out of the start. Going for it right away. Not fighting the board, letting it roll. Pumping the rollers. Flying around that midsection and low and aerodynamic across the finish line. That's textbook riding. Next up. Bibian Mentel, the gold medalist at the Paralympic Games in Sochi. 
This girl can rip. And favored to win this event. Awesome to see her racing despite getting cancer and getting some radioactive treatment last August. She's back. And obviously very fast. Look how smooth she is. Nice board control. Very composed. Super balanced. Just textbook riding by Bibian. Also from the Netherlands. 44 years of age. She knows how to go fast. And she's doing it right now. Pumping over those rollers. Really looking for more speed. And it's hammering into this corner. Nice work. Slingshotting around nicely. A good clean car. It's going to be close. This looks to be our fastest run yet, though. Bibian on a real smoker of a run. Good power right to the end of the course. Textbook form. Lower now dynamic, tucking to the finish line. And across the line, Bibian, mental speed. She's got to be stoked with that run. Watch her go here right away. Just letting her flow, letting her rip. Making it look easy. Bibian Mantel. Strong, balanced, aerodynamic. Covering all the checks. Next up, though, in the gate right now, Joni Badenhorst from the Australia Paralympic team. Born in South Africa, but representing the Australian team. She's got some good skills here as well. Looking for speed. She's a warrior. She's trying to give her. Letting her rip. She's on the throttle. Not much for sprays of snow. She's letting her rip. A few little small little splashes of snow. But, you know, it snowed a lot here recently, so that's going to happen. Nice form. Getting into the pocket of those berms. Letting her rip. Good speed coming across the flats. This looks like to be a good run for Joni Badenhorst as well. This is one of our top three fastest runs we've seen so far. Oh, nice. Just ripping it. Good suspension in the legs. Floating through those bumps. Letting the board do its thing. Arcing nicely. Jody Badenhorst ripping it. Let's see if she can keep the speed all the way to the finish. She's got to be tired by now. Second last turn into the last turn. Yes, she's going to do it. Tacking to the finish line. And a great time for Joni Badenhorst. A 116.27. Here she is out of the start. I like how she just has the arms out for balance. They're not waving around very much, showing good balance, good form. Even when she's going fast, her arms are in a good position. Bib just flapping in the wind. Great racing. All right, it looks like it's official. Bibian Mentel Speed takes the women's lower limb too. Lisa Van Schoten getting the silver medal and Joni Badenhorst with the bronze medal. Great racing by Bibian Mentel Speed. I'm so happy that it worked out. Like after my first run, I got really, really scared. Lisa was like half second before me. And I was like, I really need to step up my game because wow, she's fast. So um, I did in the second run. Luckily, I took some time off my first run. I was really stoked about that. Um, and yeah, the weather held out fine. The course was really, really awesome. So I'd like to thank all the crew and all the coaches who've been shoveling out there like for a million hours. Uh, it was a great race and I'm really, really stoked. It was fun. Yeah, it was pretty sketchy, bumpy, but it was fun. It feels a little bit like free riding, so yeah. Hot pot's always difficult, yeah. no matter like if you're like fully abled or part of the para, it's just really difficult. But I think that we, we pulled it off today. I'm really, really excited and happy. The level of competition has gone up so much with these ladies. And now, the fastest three on the podium. Woo! What a show. And welcome back. It's time for our women's lower limb one here at our Paris Snowboard World Championships at Big White. 
in the gate. Amy Purdy from the USA, 37 years old from Las Vegas. She won a bronze medal at the 2014 Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi and Snowboard Cross. And she is showing why. Look at the skills here, just charging right away. A small mistake, getting a bit wide, getting the board a bit sideways, but not losing too much speed. Letting her rip, getting that sweet pocket of the turns dialed, getting her timing all dialed, and now she's letting her go on her toe turns, sliding ever so slightly in the heel turns, but back into the pocket. She will not get off her feet. She is looking solid. There we go, nice clean turn there. Handling the bumps. As more and more racers go down this course, there's more holes and ruts formed. Now she's got some speed for the rollers. Getting her pump on. Flat basing, picking up speed. Coming into the high speed fast section. One small speed check. Out wide, very smooth. Now she's on the gas again. Another nice clean turn, just a small slide. A clean carve there. Arms out for balance. Setting up into that sweet spot. Second last corner. This is the last corner. Looks like she's gonna have all the momentum across the finish line, pumping for more speed and across the line. Amy Purdy. Pretty fast if you ask me. So she is out of the gate. The top section is steeper and has a little few more holes and ruts than the bottom where it's smoother. Next up in the gate, Cestille Hernand Servillon from Perpignan, France, 42 years old. She's a BMXer, a mountain biker, and obviously a very fast snowboarder. Sweet heel turn there. Getting bucked around on that toe turn, but fighting for balance, not losing any speed whatsoever. She's a fighter. Working the walls of those berms. Very nice, out wide and early. Coming down the wall. Picking up speed out of the turns. This is a fast run for Cecile from France. Focused. Staying low but not too low. Again with good momentum coming into the rollers in the flat middle section. She's pumping for speed. Setting up to the far rider's left for this high speed right hand corner. Oh, and she just nails it. Carving around. Slashing the next turn. No spray on that turn. This is a fast run for Cecile. The fastest we've seen so far. Good form. Look at her pumping for more speed. Pumping. Looking for it. Wanting to build that momentum. And out of the last turn, slingshotting, pumping for more speed, and across the line. Great racing from Cecile Hernandez, surveying all. I like how she gets low and sucks up those knees right to her chest, pumping on the backside, and just nails that high speed right hander out of the flat section. That's a good ride from Cecile. Next up from the USA, Brenna Hakabi from Baton Rouge. 21 years old, trains out of Utah. I've seen this girl training and she can let her go. As you can obviously see here, she is letting her rip, just hammering the course. Very aggressive. Wow. Very solid. Very focused, great composure. This is the fastest we've seen yet for sure. Yep, she's laying one down. Look at the risk she's taking. Letting it hang out there. Arm swinging around for balance. Back onto the good line. Nice form. Yeah, she's stoked. She handled that section, and now she's got some good speed for the middle section. Choosing the rider's right side of the middle section. Setting up for the high speed right-hander. Right up the middle with a clean carve turn. Very nice. Yes, indeed. This is a heater of a run. Look at her lay it down. Brenna Huckabee wants to be the world champion. It looks like she's gonna be the world champion if she keeps this up and can keep all the speed to the finish. Yes, I think she's got it out of that last corner. She is hammering. Boom! And a 116.62. She will be our new world champion in 
Women's lower limb one. Look at her rip this course up. Just carving the turn, strong and powerful. Picking a nice line. And across the finish line with great momentum. That is solid racing, and that's why she's the world champion. She doesn't even know it yet. Yeah, I think maybe she knows it now. Oh, big smile. Yeah, I'm the world champion. Great racing. Wow. I laid one down my first run, so my last two, I was like, how fast can I make this baby? And second run didn't go as planned, but uh, third run, I stuck it and stayed up. Yeah, it's definitely a tough course. Yesterday, I did not land a single training run, so I came in with very low expectations, and today was much better, much better burps. Coming from such a high from a snowboard cross into Big Salon, I just told myself, place doesn't matter. I can't, I got what I came here for, so I just wanted to love snowboarding and have fun today, and that's exactly what I did. Like, 100% this was for my daughter. Yeah, I miss her so much. So, actually before my last run, my boyfriend sent me a picture of her and was just like, we're rooting for you, and so that made me really excited. So got me in the right mindset. There we go, Amy Purdy with the bronze, Cecile hernandez Servignol with the silver, and Breda Huckabee taking gold. Next up, we have the men's upper limb. And we'd like to thank some more of our sponsors, Win Rentals, Prenoth, and FA Design. In the gate, representing Great Britain, Ben Moore from Plymouth, England. He was ranked second in bank slalom at the World Championships in 2015. He got third in snowboard cross in 2015 at the World Championships. On the podium before, and he knows how to do it. He's a big man, and he's strong, and he is working the board nicely around these turns, letting the momentum just keep flowing down the hill, pumping up the hill. Sweet heel turn. Man, these people can rip. Man, wow, just letting her go. Up over the rollers, he's pre-hopping. Nice and flat on the board. High speed around that corner, bit of a spray, but he was just hauling, it doesn't even matter. High low off that berm. He's on a good run here, Ben Moore. Nice and relaxed, letting her rip. Looking forward, only a few more turns. Taking the inside line nice and smooth, missing the ruts, pumping for the finish line. Boom, a great run for Ben Moore from Great Britain. He's like, ah, I could've done better. <laughs> Put a thumbs up anyways. Look at Ben. What a strong arm he has, pulling out with great speed, pumping the rollers nicely. Just arcing around that corner. Bit of a spray, but not slowing him down whatsoever. Good racing, Ben Moore. Next up in the gate, Manuel Pozzerli from Italy. Lives in Verona. He's a boxer, a longboarder. He likes to skateboard and likes to go fast on his snowboard, as you can see right here. He was your world champion in snowboard cross in 2015, got third in bank slalom at the world championships. Very proactive in his riding. Nice, lively bounce. Legs are working at suspension. Very smooth coming out of that half pipe section. Low, pumping for more speed. Looking smooth. Oh yeah, he's letting her rip. A Little bit wide there, not so much. Good relaxed workage of the berms here. You can see his bib flapping in the wind with the speed. Cool looking sparkles in the air. What a great day for racing. And Manuel Poserly from Italy, 38 years of age, is across the line. <laughs> Throwing the horns. Watch Manuel out of the gate. Pumping for speed right away. Getting a little wide on that high speed turn. 
but keeping it totally under control and across the line. And a big smile. Look at this course, look at this day of racing, and look at this racer, Maxime Montagioni from France. 27 years of age, he won a bronze medal in para taekwondo at the 2013 World Championships. So he is a fighter, and you can see him fighting down the course here. He's a competitor, he's looking for good speed, staying low, whoa, just hammering. Not afraid to get zesty. Maxime had some great training runs. Oh, yeah. He's trying to recreate those runs in his nicely. World Championship run here. You get three chances, three runs to be the world champ. Look how clean he's carving now. Oh, he's really pouring it on now. Not fighting the course whatsoever. Just following the lay of the land, working these turns. Two more turns left. He's really pouring it on now. Yes, indeed, good speed from Maxime Montagioni and across the line. No smile here. Here's Maxime out of the start. Getting a good pull. Not afraid to go for it. No speed checks whatsoever. Oh, just ripped that toe turn. And there as well, that guy can ride. All right, now at the top of the course with Michael Miner from the USA. From Scranton, Pennsylvania. He's a skateboarder in the summer and a snowboarder in the winter. Oh, almost blown off the course. Muscling himself back on line. Great recovery from Michael Miner. Going fast and taking chances. He's having a good run here. From Scranton, Pennsylvania. Very smooth. Not much of, of a spray from the from the board. At the best speed we've seen coming onto that flat section in the middle with the rollers. He is absolutely ripping. Michael Miner railing that turn, the high speed turn. Floating out a bit wide, but keeping all his speed, all his momentum. Back into a nice, sweet line on these high-speed lower berms. Oh, to the top of the berm, almost blowing up, but he keeps it on course with all of his speed. That was close. Taking some risks and getting away with it. Michael Miner with a heater of a run and our new leader. Will he be the world champion? Oh, he's stoked with that run. Look how fast he is, Michael Miner, charging right away. Good power in the legs, good balance, and aggressive. Low and aerodynamic. Oh no, he's got some good technique, good skills, good guts. And he's in the lead for the World Championships. But now, it's the last run, last chance for Maxime Montagioni from France. He had a good lower section. He wants to have the top section fast, middle section, bottom section, all put together into one complete run. Oh, he's just going for it. Did you see that? I thought he's gonna blow, but he stayed on his feet. Just savagely attacking this run. He knows what he's got to do. Michael Miner has the fastest time. This is his last chance. And he is using that chance. Absolutely shredding this course. Maxime Montagioni. Looking to have a fast run. He wants to be the world champion. And he's doing exactly what it's gonna take. If he can keep his kind of speed up, he could very well do it. Low and aerodynamic over the rollers. Flat base. A high speed carb turn. Taking the inside line on the next high speed turn. Railing that turn. This could be a world championship run. He is going to be pressuring Michael Miner for the win. Look at the speed, it's gonna be close. He's, he's, got a, he's got a good one. This is gonna be a great run. Maxime Montagioni making use of his last chance and yes, he does it. He is your new men's upper limb world champion. Look at the aggressive action from Maxime here. This is the third and final run. 
lowering our dynamic, carving his turns, attacking the course, looking for the smooth line and finding it. Good power in the legs. And that's how you win the world championship. Great racing from Maxime Montagioni. Great sportsmanship with our competitors. Oh. <laughs> it's a good relief when the race is over and you know you've done well and kept it up all the way to the finish. Taking some risks and got away with it. Yes, congratulations, you're the world champion. Maxime Montagioni on your last and final run. Amazing. Uh... Yesterday, uh, I was in a bad mood. You know, I say oh, it's, it's very complicated and I did not expect to, to have some good times. And today, my first run was not so bad. And I've seen that minor was uh, so fast. And I tried to the second one to, to be better. I was, but it was not enough. And the, the last one, I said, I have nothing to lose. Uh, so just go, go down uh, as fast as you can. and. Well, I was faster, so it was incredible. <laughs> at the beginning, I expected a podium. At the end, I, exp I was expected the, the first place, so it's amazing. Two days ago with uh, a silver medal, today with a gold medal, it's amazing. It's, uh, I, I, I'm very um, happy to, to confirm the, the work I've done uh, in, uh, my, in, in my uh, resort, in the Ladomil, so it's amazing. So, a lot of work and... Uh, I'm happy to tell the results. <laughs> really overwhelmed. Uh, this year's been, it's been, well, it's been very trying for myself as I broke my ankle last year in X Games and then found out I had arthritis in my other ankle later on in the year. And to come back from that and to make it to here, and especially after Lake Tahoe, it's been so much fun. The conditions after the last few days and all of the core shaping that had gone on, yeah, it made such a big difference because the corners were firmed up and we could keep that speed. It was really nice and appreciated by all of the work put in by the big white crew. Without those guys, well, this course wouldn't be the way it run. It wouldn't have been the amount of fun that it's been. It's been brilliant. Thank you ever so much, big white. What a day. Ben Moore with the bronze medal, Michael Miner with the silver, and Maxime Montagioni winning gold in our men's upper limb. Well, that is a wrap here at our 2017 World Para Snowboard Championships Bank Slalom today here at beautiful Big White Ski Resort. A big thank you to our sponsors, to the volunteers and the Telus Park crew for a great course. We'll see you next year. I'm Brett Tippy. Ow! Can you stand up and I think I judge you?